The real culprit, inventory. Inventory at the customer level. You could have seen it coming if you looked at inventory numbers. All right, welcome to the Drill Down Earnings. We've got a quick look at Cisco earnings, second fiscal quarter for this company. The quarter ended in last December. This is the business story behind one stock and a move. I'm Corey Johnson, the chief market strategist for the Futurum Group. We love the Cisco story. It's an interesting one to watch, a behemoth of a company. Of course, Wall Street just looks at miss or beat, and it was a beat. Stocks down, why? It's all about the guidance. But let's look what the business actually did, the actual numbers. $12.79 billion in revenues. That's a little bit better than what the expectations were. But that's down 5.9% from last year, and that's not good. Uh, also, when you look at the profits for this business, you know, very profitable business, but again, down about 5%. And when you look at the this the revenue shrinkage from this company, if you look at quarter after quarter, things were starting to trend up a little bit, but wow, this is a real nose down in this revenue shrinkage. Will it persist? We don't know. If we look deeper though into the business beyond the headlines, Futurum analyst Ron Westfall, you saw him on this channel earlier this week, Ron has been pouring over these results and he uh, texted me or sent me a Slack message saying, the growth in security, collaboration, observability, that provided a silver lining to the overall drop in revenues. But Ron Westfall's a nice guy, a much nicer guy than me. Most people are nicer than me. I look at these numbers as a great disappointment. I think Wall Street did this too. When you look at the chart, look what the stock did. Really sold off after hours, even though there's some rumors out there of maybe the most important piece of what was going on, which is a big reduction in the worst workforce for this company. They're going to lay off about 4,000 people uh, in this upcoming uh time period. They're going to take about a $500 million uh, charge for that. And the stock really hasn't done much for the last year, up about 5% in the year, giving all that up in after hours here. So uh, this was a little bit of a surprise because the company did lower guidance in the last quarter. It was only a few weeks ago, 13 weeks ago, and we got a, a look at the next year. Now they're saying things are going to be worse. What, what changed? What happened? Chuck Robbins, CEO of Cisco, one of my favorites. Here's what he had to say. So Obviously, with the lower guide, we talked about the, uh, the the feeling that there's some macro uncertainty. Uh, we talked to our teams in preparation for this, and they, they obviously submitted their forecast. And what we really saw was um, what they previously told us 90 days ago relative to the second half versus what they told us a couple of weeks ago had changed materially, which means customers are pushing things out and putting a little more scrutiny on them. So, yeah, a change for this business. They think things will be better in the second half. They, their end of their fiscal year is end of June. So if we figure July, things should be better. That's what Chuck Robbins says now. But yeah, 13 weeks ago, he said something else. So we'll see. Inventory is the story here. Inventory sitting at the customers. And yeah, there's a little inventory at Cisco. We'll take a look at that in just a minute with the drill down bite, one number that tells us a whole lot. And we'll have a summary of these earnings, all that and more right after this. The drill down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. All right, here's your quick drill down earnings takeaway on what happened in the second fiscal quarter for Cisco, a quarter ending at the end of December last year. Look, this was not a great quarter for Cisco, a real turnaround in the business. 5.9% decline in sales, a 5% decline in profits, and guidance suggesting that things aren't getting better yet. The real culprit, inventory. Inventory at the customer level. CEO Chuck Robbins says it'll be done by the end, the middle of the calendar year, the end of their fiscal year, the end of June, the rest of us would call it. But look, you could have seen it coming if you looked at inventory numbers. The drill down bite, one number that tells us a whole lot, that number is inventory, 63.8 days. There is your number. That's how much inventory Cisco had on the shelf at the end of the calendar year, at the end of the second quarter for them. Not good. And you could see it coming for quarter after quarter after quarter after quarter. This company had inventory piling up and now it's a problem. All right, thanks for listening to Drilled on Earnings. I'm Corey Johnson. Check us out on Instagram and TikTok for short takes, a longer take on YouTube. Follow me on X at Corey TV. Drilled on Earnings, production of the 6.5 Media Group. Thank you.